Hey, hello people. So um, that's a, I guess, gonna be short video, and uh, I never in intended to make one of those, but that's my old CLK 550 2008. You saw in the previous videos how I got like six liters of water out from the engine. So um, I'm slowly bringing it back to life. It's passed the inspection. I got, I got it registered so um, I can drive it. Uh, the topic of today's video, the bushings for the sway bar. So my front suspension uh, was clunking and I didn't find anything wrong with any of the, you know, control arms or uh, steering rack, uh, you know, and however, those two bushings uh, were pretty, you know, torn, not torn, but they're done, so they they don't sit tight. So I thought, ah, easy peasy, I'm gonna go online, find the part number, purchase those. And the matter of fact is that those bushings are actually one piece with a sway bar. And, uh, Technically, when you go to the dealer, they're gonna replace the whole sway bar and you can Google yourself how much the brand new sway bar costs. It was not the case, I guess, on the previous years. Uh, it's possibly that uh, CLK 320 or maybe even 500 may have the bushings that you may, you know, replace. Uh, however, those are being kind of molded or bonded or glued on the sway bar there are no any kind of cuts you can uh, you know remove them so i'm gonna use the razor blade to cut it and to remove it and then, then i'm gonna clean the kind of old residuals because some of those are still kind of bonded on a sway bar and i went online and i found those guys power flex bushings they already been pre-cut from the factory so and they are coming with some kind of grease i need to apply kind of uh, inside before I you know put them in place so uh, that's that um, I never knew there are some bushings that I cannot replace without replacing the whole part which is insane so let me go ahead cut those out uh, maybe I'll use some very fine sandpaper to uh, clean all the you know rubber leftovers and we'll go from there okay it took me probably like 40 minutes or so to clean up uh, both sides I ended up using the oh my god the razor blade to cut off the old bushing and uh, cut the residuals the most of the residuals from the old bushing and I ended up with a green scotch bright and so far i left those bushings here because as you see they are uh, directional so i'm gonna use them as the reference uh i do want to do this just once i don't want to <laughs> turn them over once i'm gonna find out i uh, install them incorrectly so uh, what i'm gonna do i'm gonna use this uh ptfe grease and i'm simply gonna install those Sh it looks similar uh, on on their website there are in different sizes mine is 22 millimeters it depends on the thickness of the sway bar link so uh, that's what I'm gonna use so I put half of the tube of this grease and that appears to be the correct position and I'm simple not simple but I'll try to open it and insert it and let me turn it over a few times so the grease come through you know normally and then actually I'm gonna proceed to the other side and do the same all right there's the other side. Hopefully you can see something. Okay. It 
du, du, du. Grease, I think should be more than enough. Take the second bushing. Make sure it's in the proper direction. Open it. Turn it a few times so the grease would distribute itself. And that's what I have so far. Let me rotate this also a few times. Okay, and now I'm gonna install those brackets. And this should be it in regards to this sway bar bushings. It's a little weird that it's like in a purple color. <laughs> but I guess as long as it works, it won't bother me. This is it. I'm gonna tighten the bolts and I'm gonna remove those worn bushings guys thank you so much for watching uh, the next video about this car probably gonna be about the re replacing the struts actually not the struts just the shocks because I'm gonna keep the old uh, my god springs and uh, why I would like to shoot another video is because I barely could remove this spring using you know those kind of cheap uh, spring uh, uh, compressors you know like for you know 30 40 bucks in your uh, local automotive store uh, this uh, kind of strut has those you know upper mounts and the spring goes pretty deep inside so I cannot uh, use I cannot use uh, the available lengths of this you know cheap compressor to compress the uh, spring all the way so I can you know release it you know release the nut and remove the uh, upper mount uh, so that's gonna be in the next video possibly um, I guess stay tuned thank you and the link for those bushings for the sway bar is gonna be in the description thank you guys take care